Hey everybody, so today I wanted to show you how you can make a Mac OS 10.14 Mojave installer flash drive. So I'm going to take this flash drive that I have, and it's a used one, but you can take a used one that you have or a brand new one, and you can take that and format it and put the Mac OS 10.14 Mojave installer on here. Now if you do use a used one, make sure you don't need any of the information that's on the flash drive because we'll erase it and you won't be able to get that information back. But let's go over to the Windows computer because I'll show you how to make it on Windows and that way you can get your Mac computer back up and running. So let's go over now and I'll show you exactly what steps to take. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our flash drive whether it's a new one or a used one and we're going to put it into the computer. Now I would recommend that you get a USB 3.0 or faster flash drive because it will read and write so much quicker than a USB 2.0 flash drive. Now when you plug it into the computer you may get a message like this one that says you need to format the disk before you can use it. Well, I am going to format it, but I'm going to show you how you can format it, whether it's made for Mac, Linux, or Windows. So I'm going to click on cancel right here. And what we would normally do is we would right click on the start button and we would go to disk management. Now, when you're in disk management, you'll notice right here is my E drive and it just says 14.59 gigabytes raw so there's nothing on the flash drive so what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and I'm going to format the flash drive now here it wants a volume label so I'm just going to name it IT101 and then it wants to know the file system I'm going to leave it as FAT32 and then I'm going to leave the allocation unit size as default. And then I'm going to do a quick format. And then I'm going to click on OK. Now it does say that formatting this volume will erase all data on it. So back up any data you want to keep before formatting. Do you want to continue? Well, I don't need anything that's on the flash drive. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. But make sure you don't need anything that's on your flash drive either. Okay, so let's go ahead and click OK. And then that'll take just a few seconds to format. And then there you go. Now the flash drive is ready and we can use it to create our Mac OS 10.14 Mojave installer flash drive. So what we can do now is we're just going to close out a disk management right here by clicking the X. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to go onto the internet. Now you can use any web browser that you want to. Microsoft Edge, Firefox, Opera, Internet Explorer, Chrome, Chromium. I'm just going to use Microsoft Edge since it's built into the computer. So I'm going to go down here and click on Microsoft Edge. And then when it comes up we need to go to a search engine. Now you can use any search engine that you want to. Yahoo, Bing, MSN, DuckDuckGo. I'm going to use DuckDuckGo. So up here at the top, I'm going to go to DuckDuckGo.com and I'm going to press enter. Now here is where you can search for what you want to find. So I'm going to type in Mac OS space ISO space collection and then I'm going to put another space and I'm going to put archive.org and you can either press enter or you can click on the search button right here and then once the results come up you want to click on this one right here now it does say no longer maintaining but don't let that fool you this stuff works perfectly all the installers that I've used have worked exactly like you expect for them to. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this. 
and then it takes you to this page. And if you scroll down just a little bit, there's a bunch of ISO images. If you'll just click on this, look at all of those ISO images that they've created for us. Now, we don't want any of these betas. The one we want to download is the Mac OS 10.14. So we want to look for that, which is right here. It's the Mojave. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on that. And then in just a moment, it's going to start downloading that file for us. Now that file will take a few moments to download. So let's give it just a moment. If it doesn't start the first time, just click on it again and it should start downloading for you. You can also click on this little icon right here that looks like a little arrow pointed down. And there you go. It did just start. So we'll give that a few moments to finish and I'll pick right back up and then I'll show you exactly how to get that ISO file ready so that we can make the bootable flash drive installer. So give us a few moments and I'll be right back. Okay, so it just finished downloading the Mac OS 10.14.6 ISO. So what we're going to do now is we need to download one more program. So we're going to go back up here to the top on the address bar. And I'm going to go back to DuckDuckGo.com. You can go to the search engine that you would like. Once I get to DuckDuckGo.com, I'm going to search for TransMac. And then I'm either going to press enter or click on the search button. And then here, what we want to do is we want to click on Download Trans Mac. And we're going to click on that link, and it's going to take us to this website. Now, this is the company that actually makes the Trans Mac software. So if you'll notice, in just a few more seconds, I should be able to download the software. So all I have to do is click on this download tm setup.zip. So I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to close the ad right here by clicking on the X. And then it starts downloading that file right up here. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up the folder where this file is by clicking on this little folder icon. And there it goes. It took me to the downloads folder. And now this is a zip file. So I need to unzip those files. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to extract them by right clicking on it and I'm going to click on extract all. Now here I'm just going to leave the default folder that it automatically gives me and I'm going to click on extract. Okay now what we need to do is right click on setup and run it as administrator. And then if you get a pop-up saying is it okay for the trans Mac installer to make changes to your device just go ahead and click on yes so that it can install the software now here we're just going to go ahead and click next on the wizard and then we have to accept the agreement so just go ahead and click that and click on next and then here we're going to go ahead and do the default installation location now you can change it if you want to but i'm going to leave mine just like it is and i'm going to click next and then it's going to put it in a folder under the start menu called TransMac. So I'm going to leave that alone and just click next. And then I'm going to go ahead and put an icon on the desktop to make it easy to find the program. And I'm also going to go ahead and associate TransMac with all the DMG files and the sparse image files that normally would be on a Mac computer. So I'm going to leave that checked and go ahead and click next. And then all I have to do is click on install. And there you go. It finishes installing the program. And then it wants to know, do I want to open up the readme? Well, I don't need the readme, so I'm going to uncheck that. And I'm actually not going to run trains back at the moment. And I'll show you why in just a second. And then I'm going to click on finish. Okay. So now I'm going to close out of this TM setup folder. And I'm going to close the downloads folder. 
and then I'm also going to go ahead and close Microsoft Edge because I don't need it anymore. Okay, now you'll notice here's my TransMac icon on the desktop. Well, in order to do some of the functions in TransMac, you actually have to run it as administrator. So I'm going to right click on it and click on run as administrator. And then of course, it wants to know can TransMac make changes to your device. Just go ahead and click on yes. And then it'll open up in just a second. And here it is. We have the trial on this computer and you have to wait for 10 seconds before you can click on run. But then as soon as you give it 10 seconds, you can open it up. So go ahead and click run. And then there it is. There's the program TransMac. So we can use this in order to make our bootable flash drive installer of Mac OS 10.14 Mojave. So all we have to do is right click on the SanDisk and we're gonna format the disk for Mac. And then it says the disk may contain mounted PC volumes, formatting it will overwrite them. Are you sure you wanna continue? But we do wanna go ahead and continue. So go ahead and click on yes. And then you can give it any name you want to. For right now, I'll just call it IT101 and just go ahead and click OK. And then it says, are you sure? It's giving you one last chance. Are you sure it's going to overwrite everything that's on the flash drive? Do you want to continue? But I'm going to click on yes. Now that should only take a few seconds to finish. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and put that disk image onto the flash drive. Okay, so the format just finished. So I'm gonna click on OK. Now, we do need to make one change to the file in order to be able to put it onto the flash drive. So if you'll go down here to the File Explorer and click on it and go back to your downloads, all we have to do is change this ISO to a DMG. Now, if you don't see the period ISO right there, just click on view and all you have to do is click on this file name extensions just put a check beside it and then that'll show up and you can see dot ISO and then I can just right click on the file click rename and then I can take ISO off and put DMG and then press enter and then it says are you sure you want to change it but I want to, so I'm gonna go ahead and click yes. Okay, so there you go. So now what we can do is go back over to TransMac, right click on our flash drive, and restore with the disk image. And then here, it says you're gonna format the flash drive again, that's fine. Just click on yes. And then you wanna click the three dots right here and you want to go to your downloads which will be right here on the left side if it's not selected and you want to click on the DMG file and then click open and then go ahead and click OK and then it gives you one more chance but we want to go ahead and continue so we're going to click OK now that's going to take quite a few minutes for it to put all that information on the flash drive but I'll speed it up for you all, of course. And I'll be back as soon as it's finished. And then I'll show you that it's done. And then I'll show you that it'll work on a Mac computer. So I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, so it just finished restoring the Mac OS 10.14 Mojave DMG file onto the flash drive. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK and then I'm going to close the TransMac program and I'm going to close the downloads and I'm going to eject the flash drive by clicking on the little arrow and then I'm going to click on the USB icon and I'm going to eject my flash drive. Now that I can remove my flash drive, 
I'm going to go ahead and take this flash drive and I'm going to put it into my Mac computer and show you that the Mojave will boot up so that you can install Mac OS Mojave on your computer. So give me just a moment and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have my MacBook Pro right here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to press the power button and then immediately hold down the option key on the keyboard. Now when the options come up, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my flash drive in so that you can see that it will be bootable and we can install Mac OS 10.14 Mojave on this computer. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and put the flash drive in. And there you go. There's the Mac OS 10.14 Mojave installer. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And it's going to boot up to the Mojave installer. And you can install it right on this computer. And you can do it on your computer as well. So I hope that was helpful on how you can make a Mac OS 10.14 Mojave installer flash drive on your Windows computer. If you have any questions about how to do this, please let me know down below in the comments and I'll be more than happy to get back to you about that. And if there's a video that you would like for me to create for you, please let me know that down below in the comments as well and I'll do my best to create that video for you. And as always, because you all do such a great job, if you can, hit that like and subscribe button so I can keep putting up more great content like how do I make a Mac OS 10.14 Mojave installer flash drive with Windows. And I'll be glad to keep putting up all this great content for you all. Thanks so much everybody. I really appreciate you all. I hope you have a great day. Take care. God bless. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.